to Que Pasa, new year, new season of Que Pasa. We're meeting up as always with Lauren Falco from El Paso Live. She's got the scoop on things to do over the next couple of days. Happy New Year, Lauren. Happy New Year, Dan. We're back. We're back. After like forever. It feels like forever. It's been a minute for yeah. sure. Hey, so we were at a cool new brewery in central El Paso. Mm -hmm. It's called Old Sheepdog. Old Sheepdog Brewery. It's a brand new brewery. It's actually a nano brewery. Family owned. It's a really cool space. So let's go ahead and talk about this weekend. Mm -hmm. And first off, we have kind of a showcase for acoustic singer songwriters. Sunset Sounds, which is at Savage Goods, which we've been there. I love Savage Goods. Several performers will play. And then they also have a brand new dinner menu. So there'll be like happy hour. I believe it's it's gonna be monthly. Um, this one's happening on Friday at around seven. I'd suggest getting there a little bit earlier to get a seat. Also this weekend, and this is a pretty cool, unique event, kind of a mini golf open, but it's yes. spread across downtown. It's called the Downtown Barstool Open. It's kind of like mini golf, like they set it up around around the different bars, and each team has chance to make it, and then obviously at the end, whoever wins gets a prize. But it's a really cool event, and people get like super into it. They always have like costumes and like full team spirit. Well, these look delicious. Yeah, I'm very excited. This is the Brujo. I believe it has notes of chocolate and chipotle. Nice to look at for us. Yeah, exactly. We'll have to come back another day when we're yeah. not on the clock. We'll definitely have to come back. All right, so chugging along and coming up next week, mm -hmm. this was one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. My mom thought I was weird because I liked it so much. <laughs> Mystery Science Theater 3000. Yes, everyone kind of loves this show and I can understand why. It's just so funny. The way it works is they show an old cheesy movie. Yes. And then this guy and two robots Mm -hmm. Crow and Servo. They just crack jokes and comments, making fun of the movie the whole time. It's, it's pretty incredible because they always have the best commentary, and then it's movies that you may have never in your life seen. Never want to see. You never want to see, exactly. Mystery Science Theater 3000 live January 28th at 7.30 p.m. at the Plaza Theater, and we are actually showing a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie, <laughs> so if you love Jean-Claude Van Damme. It's already hilarious. Yeah. Finally, 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 the arrival of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the musical. It's coming. It's here. Um, we have it January 29th through February 2nd um, at the Plaza Theater. It's going to be really, really fun. I know the movie was a little creepy at times, but the yeah. show is very family friendly. The show is extremely family friendly and it's for all ages. So even if you have kids, if you don't have kids and you just want to go see it, I would definitely go check it out. Ticketmaster.com or you can go visit the new El Paso Live website. And we oh yeah, y'all revamped that. We did. Thanks to Lauren Falco. Once again, if you need information on anything we talked about, just head on over to visitelpaso.com. See you next week.